Kawhi. Yes, absolutely. He was the biggest reason. And he's the reason that even though Kawhi was sensational, making big three after big three after clutch uh, mid-range shot after mid-range shot, it was Russ, Skip. Russ had five second-half offensive rebounds. He had one fewer offensive rebound than the entire Suns team with a seven-footer on the court. Skip, sometimes you, if you just looked at the box score and you're like, man, Russ was 3 of 19, 1 of 6, 2 or 3 from the free throw line, man, he was terrible. Minus 6, plus, minus. Mm. But if you watch the game, you realize and you understand he was the reason. Skip, there was, it was a one-point game, and the Clippers kept missing shots. And Russ kept getting the offensive rebound, giving them second chance after second chance. And then they would cash it in. Suns come down, get it, uh, uh, score a bucket, they come right back down. Clippers miss, Russ grabbed the rebound. Two clutch free throws late in the ball game to put them up three with 17 seconds to go in the ball game. Skip, if you look at it, you're like, man, I mean, the Clippers only have 49 rebounds. Uh, the Suns had 42. It's not that bad. But then go a little further to the left. One team had 15 offensive rebounds. The other team had six. So how many cracks are you going to give a team at your basket before they punish you with points? Or you end up filing them and put them on the free throw line? Skip Russ, look, and he has to play like this because Paul George, he took the assignment. That would have been Paul George on Devin Booker. Russ said, no, nah, I got it. And you see, he blocked KD a couple of times from the back. Skip, he played the one thing, Russ don't cheat you. He don't cheat you with effort. You don't ever have to, man, man, he dogged it on that one, Skip. He, Russ ain't not, nah. Russ is not, he's not always going to make the best basketball play. But it's not lack of him trying. That performance yesterday will go a long, long way in the Clippers locker room. 3 of 19, that's bad. But you look at the plays that he made down the stretch, and it's the reason why they won the ball game. It's the difference in we let one slip away as opposed to we stole one on the road. Hmm. Give it up. You got to give it up to him, Skip. You got to give him a golf clap or something. Give him a golf clap. I can't. Ah, oh, man, come on, Skip. Russell Westbrook is against my basketball religion. <laughs> my religion. I, I just can't. I can't get there. I try and I fail. Shannon Sharp, if I told you Friday, Russ is going to shoot three for 19 in game one at Phoenix, I know what you would have said. Yeah, oh, they'll it's, lose. A, it's a wipeout. Yeah. It is, it's an embarrassment, right? Yes. He lived down to the nickname that I think I first gave him back in his OKC <laughs> days. He was West Brick, all time West Brick. Yep. He went one of six from three. And by the way, from three this year, he shot 31% through the regular season, <clears throat> that ranked 145th out of 149. From the free throw line this year, he shot 65.6%. That ranked 118th out of 123 qualified. Right. So he's bottom of the barrel from three, and he lived down to that. But the shock of shocks was to me, and I knew it was coming. I just knew it. I got to give credit to Ty Lue, and I give it to Russ for, for look, who, whoever said he didn't hustle? That, that, we, we all know he, he will fight your tail off and his tail off. Mm -hmm. He will scratch and claw at you till the bitter end because that's the way he's always been built. Right. So my point is, I, I, how do you overcome three for 19? How does the head coach say, I'm going to play you for 10 minutes in the fourth quarter? Even though you're three for 17, three for 18, three for 19. Mm -hmm. I give all credit to Ty Lu for saying, hey, Russ, I believe in you. We believe in you. And we need you because they don't have Paul George. Right. And yet I thought maybe they'll go with Norman Powell. Maybe they'll go with Terrence Mann. Maybe they'll just let Eric Gordon play point guard because he's pretty good at it. He's solid. He's not sensational. To Ty Lue's credit, and I still believe they're trying to show the Lakers we will win with him while you guys failed with him, the team upstairs. And last night, it worked because of what you said, because he kept scratching and clawing for offensive rebounds. Mm -hmm. And the, the shot of shots to me, the one that I did not see coming was he goes into the lane on Devin Booker and shoots another shot, the one on which he got fouled. I yelled to Ernestine. I said, watch him swish both of these. And he did, he did because they had blessed him. Ty had blessed him. 
Ty had empowered him. We need you to take us home, Russ. This is why Ty Lu is one of the best, if not the best coach in all of basketball. Mm -hmm. Here they came, and then he goes down to the other end, and he makes a hustle play on Devin Booker, Russell Westbrook. Never known for playing defense. When he was with your Lakers, you often question. <laughs> I don't even know if he tries on the defensive end because he's all about offensive statistics, right? right? Mm -hmm. He goes down to the defensive end and makes the play of the playoffs so yeah. far. Nobody has made a play that, that would stand up to that one because that's the one that iced the game. Yeah. And they stole game one at Phoenix. Now allow me, please, to talk about my guy, Kevin Durant. Would you believe that, that he took fewer shots than Russ missed? He took 15 shots and Russ missed 16 shots. Mm -hmm. Think about that. Mm -hmm. 15. I think he's the best shooter on the planet. Best mid-range, best blah, blah. Name it. Nobody can shoot it the way Kevin can at seven feet tall. Right. How do you take only 15 shots? Well, I'm going to give you this. This is another Ty Lue special. They started Russ on KD in right. the first quarter. Yes. And I think KD did not see it coming. I think it blindsided him. I think it threw him. I, I think he was a little off psychologically because, wait a second, you're putting a six foot three inch guy on me? I'm seven feet tall. What do you do? You, you know, and I know what you do. You just go post up. You, you, you throw out the game plan. You just go on the low block and say, right. CP, j just, just here, right. give, give me the ball because he can't. He can't keep Kevin from the free throw line. You know it, and I know. You, you should foul out Russ in the first quarter if he's going to try to guard you. Right. He's physical. He's, he's got big, broad shoulders. He's got an NBA body, and he'll fight with you. He's only six feet, three inches tall. So, to me, two things happen. Kevin misses his first five shots. It, it, it's, it, it's unconscionable. It, it's, you, you can't start that way if you're the best player, I, I can argue, in the playoffs, but certainly the best new player on the Phoenix Suns. And then over the last seven minutes of the game, Kevin took and made one shot. It, it's Kevin's fault, but he's never been a give me the damn ball and right. get out of my way guy, right? Mm -hmm. And it's Chris Paul's fault because he has to be the orchestrator. He has to be the facilitator. He has to be the quarterback on offense that gets the damn ball to Kevin Durant in the right spots. Is it because they haven't played enough together? Maybe so. Kevin was 8-0. As a Phoenix Sun, well, guess what? Now he's eight and one. Well, Skip, they did a lot. They they gave a lot of different looks. They started Russ, and then yeah, they go then to Harry Gordon, then did. they put they Kawhi. Did. They, they had somebody trying to face and guard him, way, and then they had somebody in back of him. Kawhi did a good job in the second half because he took him quite a bit. Right. And you have questioned Kawhi. Will you even try to defend the right. best player? Right. His knees are creaky. That that was. I, I'm trying to put it in perspective in my head. I I, I like slept on this. I, I'm not sure I can remember Kawhi playing a better game than he played No, no, last he was night. sensational I, I'm talking about both ends, start to finish. He, he played 42 minutes. Hey, he made two shots coming out of halftime where he just, I'm, I'm like, well, that's just too good, where he's falling away, yeah. get, get, shooting him off the glass. And I'm, yeah. I'm saying, well, that, that's just vintage. But, Skip, if you look, okay, Russ in the second half, Skip, he's one for 10 from the floor. Yep. But he gave you six fourth quarter rebounds. It's just huge. He gave you two offensive rebounds in the fourth quarter, and he gave you three assists. And by the way, I and have, two block shots. Can I fault Chris Paul for that? Because mostly he was guarding Russ. You got to keep him up the you glass. You have to screen him off. Yes. You know, and I know what he does he, best. I, he attacks the glass. I think we could. I think he said it humbly, but yeah. I think we don't need to be as modest as he was. Yeah. He's the best rebounding guard in the history of the game. He said, "I say so humbly." Well, he is. Yes. But we've always said whether that. point or two. I said he's it the on best Friday. I said. He's the best rebounding guard. Well, and I, so you have to skip. He, and he's not going to sit like a lot of guards skip. Sit back. He's, a, he's attacking the glass like he's a big. He's he, going to get it. See ball, go get ball. He, He's got that Rodman in him yes. where, where he's got great instincts of anticipation. Where's the carom going to go? Right. And he's looking for <clears throat> his screen off guy. Right. It's Chris Paul. Right. I, how can I beat him? How right. can I maneuver? Right. And I'm going to go here but because the ball is going to go right. there. And he keeps beating his man to the basketball. Yeah. Well, his man is supposed to have inside position yes. on him and can't keep him off the boards. Well, let me tell you, if in game two, you're going to let him get six, what was it, six offensive he got rebounds? Six, he got six, four, uh, six okay. fourth quarter rebounds, two of them offensive. Okay. If you're going to do that, you're going to lose again. Yeah. And if Kevin Durant is going to take only 15 shots, think about what he did. He goes 0 for 5. But then if you look the at the, the, the next 10 shots he takes, he makes 7 out of 10, 10. including three threes. Yes. Well, help me out. Is that not good? Shouldn't you increase the volume of that? Well, I think we all agree. 
Is Kevin a selfish player? Well, he's unselfish last night to a fault. Skip, but I think in the third quarter, what was the third quarter? He, he didn't go, take a shot. He didn't take a shot, Skip. Okay, but look at his numbers. Uh, is it not LeBron-esque across the board? Yeah, but I, I, and I understand Torrey Craig was there. But, Skip, I can't have a quarter in which Kevin Durant doesn't take a shot. Okay, but you know why? He had 11 assists for the night, so he goes 27, 9 rebounds, and 11 assists. Right. Well, you'd say, those are pretty good numbers. But They're not good enough. I, he... It, as good as Kevin Durant is, that's a that's that's begging to be a 35, 40 point triple double it game is. for him. It is. I agree. I, I just can't have him go a totally quarter. Agree. I can't have him go a quarter without taking a shot. You, I understand the assist, and I like the facilitator uh, uh, him being yeah. a facilitator. Mm -hmm. it, but Skip, hey, if you force up two bad shots, I can live with that, KD. I just can't have you not shooting the ball at all in yes. a quarter. I agree. When Kawhi, for, for once, again, I picked the Clippers before the year. I just can't root for them anymore. I, I, can't, I can't stand up for them anymore because Russ is on the team. But that's just me. But the point is, I do still like Kawhi. I believe in Kawhi. He, he did screw me. He, he, did, he, he, he just quit his way out of San Antonio. Yes. It's hard for me to forgive that, but I do forget it. But the point is, every time Kawhi made a shot, especially a three, it, it, it's their best player. He's the one unguardable player. Shannon, when he made a shot at Phoenix, I know what happened to the crowd. They're like, oh, my God, we can't stop that. Right. Well, that's what you say about Kevin Durant. If he starts shooting, if he takes 28 shots in the game instead of 15, right. and he makes 20 of them, every time he makes a shot, you're like, oh, my God. Yeah. It's Kevin bleeping Durant. And you can see, Skip, once he got it going in the second quarter, it was like he couldn't miss. He'd get miss. to that spot. He yeah. just ride, raise up, yeah. boom. And, and Guys then, are all flying all around and trying to brush him from the back. Nope, it's like all look. I see is the basket. I don't even see you back there. And, and guess what? You look up and the game's tied. Right. You're like, whoa, where did right. that come from? Well, it came from him. Yeah. And then to your point, third quarter, nothing. And all of a sudden the game is close and he hits a couple of shots early in the fourth quarter and then that happened. Chris Paul missed some shots. He did. Right around the, <clears throat> excuse yeah. me, around the basket skip that he'd normally make. And I know you skip. If you look at the box score, DeAndre Ayton, he's eight of sixteen, two or two from the free throw line. Eight yeah. skip. I, 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 I'm with you. I'm with you. Come on, bro. Eight rebounds, not now, enough. Chris Paul had eleven. I know he did. In Big Zoo, hey, hey, it, hey. it felt like Zoo out hustling. Yeah, him. come on, bro. I, I need, I need, I need you to give me more. Yeah. You need to punish Zoo box. You need to be twenty. You need to be twenty fifteen. Man. Well, in the end. KD needs to be KD, and then we'll have a different conversation. I mean, Zubas out rebounded him, Russell Westbrook out rebounded him, Kevin Durant out rebounded him, yep. Chris Paul out rebounded yep. him, and you the tallest man on the fo on the floor. Yep. Okay. In the end, am I giving up on the Suns? No. No. Are no, you saying didn't. they're in trouble? No. Because I'm not. What? Skip. This is this is doing this is their season. Okay. When they play again. One. Okay. I, I've seen teams come back from 0-2 on the go go on the road. I saw the Clippers do it. Are, 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 are you are you sure? The Clippers did it to Luca. Are, are you sure that? Well, I don't want to have to see it, but <laughs> but I'm with you. This is huge, and it's huge for Kevin Durant. And the thing is, is, you got to understand what you have. You have Ty Lue and you have Kawhi, a player. See, the thing is, with Luca had never been in a no. moment like this. No, Kawhi's been here. Yeah, and that was Kawhi and Paul George. Yeah, exactly. It was a one two punch. Right. But if Kawhi's gonna be like he is. Ooh. I don't know if they can win another game. If Russ goes three or nineteen, he's gonna have to shoot better than that. Yeah. But Skip, they got great production from their bench. Norman Powell, Always. doing what Norman Powell does. He does. Terrence Mann, Agreed. does what Terrence Mann does. Yeah. Mason Plumley, Skip comes in, gives you eleven rebounds. Yeah. And look at Eric Gordon. Those, those are hard numbers to beat. Yeah. Yeah. Seven to fourteen, mm -hmm. three or seven. Yeah. You got to keep them off the glass, guys. Mm. Got to keep them off the glass. No rebounds, no rings. That's what somebody said. His team. One Friday Wise night and words. yesterday. It's amazing the switch gets that gets flipped for some players during playoff basketball. Yep. Thanks for watching, Undisputed fans. Subscribe here to get the very latest from Skip and Shannon. Plus, go watch a few segments from our other shows on FS1.